to be transparent in life and actually not really see much change. Have you ever wondered why that is? It's like, I am a person that is honest with how I feel. I am honest about what's going on. I have friends that I share things with, and yet I don't seem to be able to get over this certain thing that I'm getting stuck in. Well, that's because you're being transparent and not vulnerable. See, transparency is really easy, actually. It, it might feel scary, but it's relatively easy because transparency only requires you to be honest about something that you experienced or that you're processing or a thought that you're having. Vulnerability is actually inviting someone in to those moments, not after the fact. Oh, we got some lighting here. Not after the fact. See, vulnerability is when I'm feeling really insecure and I'm processing something super scary and I'm stepping into something new and I don't know what's going on and I'm, I'm nervous, scared. I shouldn't be, but I am. It's not calling up my friend the day after when I'm feeling more confident and going, man, yesterday was one of those days. Whoo, buddy. It just, it knocked me out for a day. I don't know. And I, uh, I took a little bit of quiet time and I kind of recentered myself and now, now I'm good. Now I'm totally good. But man, yesterday was horrible. So that sounds like you're being vulnerable. But in reality, you're being transparent because that has already happened. That fear, that emotion, that negative experience that you're having is behind you. And you're being honest with it, but you're not inviting people into it. Where vulnerability is, I'm feeling those emotions and I'm gonna call my friend. I'm going to reach out to someone to process. I'm actually going to invite people into my journey, real time, real time. And when you do that, when you choose to invite people into that, you're gonna be shocked because it's actually going to significantly change and alter what's happening. See, a lot of times, shame tells us to be transparent. Vulnerability tells us to be brave. There's a huge difference. Think about it. I'm Josh Searbaugh, and that is your three-minute thought for the day.